God had promised that Abraham's descendants would live in Canaan. He would give them the land. After wandering in the wilderness for 40 years, it was time for the remaining Israelites to enter the Promised Land. Now the only thing keeping the Israelites from their new home was the Jordan River. The river was deep and wide. The Israelites could never get across on their own, but God was going to help them. God told Joshua and the other leaders what to do. First, the priests carried the Ark of God ahead to the edge of the river. The Ark reminded the people that God was with them. The rest of the Israelites followed behind the Ark. Joshua said, listen, God is going to do something great. When these men carry the Ark of God into the river, God will stop the water in the river. Then you will know God is with us. The people watched as the priests carrying the Ark took a step into the river. God made the water stop. The priests stood on dry ground in the middle of the river. And then all of the Israelites crossed safely on dry ground. God told Joshua, Choose twelve men to take twelve stones from the middle of the river where the priests are standing. They should put them down in the place where you spend the night tonight. God wanted the stones to be a memorial. A memorial is something that helps people remember a person or event. That people would see the stones and remember that God helped them cross the river. In the future, when children saw the stones and said, why are these rocks here? The people could tell their children that God stopped the water. And everyone would know that God is mighty. The Israelites did exactly what God told them to do. They picked up 12 big stones to make a memorial. Finally, the priests with the ark crossed the river and the water began to flow again. The river was deep and wide like it had been before. At last, God's people were in the promised land. God went ahead of Joshua and the Israelites into the promised land. He showed his power to them so that they would trust in him. When Jesus came to earth, he showed his power so people would trust in him and be saved from sin.